that was uh, the land of beautiful flowers from Bravely Default. As I mentioned in uh, in uh, during final bar line, uh, it's done by Revo or Rebo, who is uh, is an amazing composer. All right, I got about fifty minutes or so before I want to stop. Maybe a little less. Let's do Love Burb. Yesterday, oh wait a minute, what's this? On note received court, court looking into it, apologies for inconvenience. We fixed up at the end of the week. New study or song for the first tutorial. More rhythm indicators to help aid players. Overall better polish. Oh, well that's nice. Considering this is a completely free game, that's that's a lot more than I would expect them to do for it. And that's really cool of them. I gotta turn the volume up. Again, I was a little harsh on this game when I loaded it up yes, uh, the last first time I played it, but... This game is great. I I love this game. And I cannot wait to play more of it, which I'm going to right now. So let's do it. Oh my god, have you seen that Pokemon Fusion game? Yes, I have. Uh, Vinny's played it. Alright, I need my keyboard for this one. Uh, so we finished this, right? Yeah, there's no more matches here. So we're on stage two. Turhoot. Oh god. I just see the little the little telegram thing in the corner pop up. Oh my god, that's adorable actually. I like that. I love that. Turhoot. If I wasn't full screen, I would uh, I would show that. All right, so we so Russell's the the tutorial burb. Uh, we went on a second date with Taylor. Let's work our way up. And then we'll we'll maybe do a third date. I'm not sure. We'll see how long this takes. Hi, Scott. This a good time? Oh, jinkies. The notification almost popped on my heart chambers. You keep surprising me. It's like you're out to get me. Well, I am trying to get you out of your house, so I guess, yeah, I am. Your behavior is so fascinating. I want to know more about you. I want to learn and understand you. How could someone like you care about me so much? I wouldn't say it's so much, it's just a moderate amount of muchness. In moderation? That's what my old psych used to tell me. The word means nothing to me. It's all or nothing. Do or die trying. So you want me to continue this riveting conversation elsewhere? Okay, wait, I'm checking out the other ones you sent me. Hold on. Clefmelian. Oh, that's cute. That one's cute. Togekun. That one's cute, too. That one's good. I like the... See, those are custom ones. You could tell those are ones that they they worked, they did. Because some of them are... Some of them are done, like, are handmade. While, while some of them are just, like, algorithmic uh, combinations. And look really weird. But those you could clearly see are, like... Custom made. No computer could come up with that. Ah, the most excellent place to study the human apes display love. My favorite part of every performance is when one of the lovers dies. It's always so emotional. You come here to watch humans die? Yes! But in love, there's a major difference. It's difficult to explain my fascination to someone who's never struggled to experience the magic of love. I've seen what is done for four others. What makes you think I haven't struggled? Don't you not? I can't feel so many things. Um, I'm so, so sorry. What was your name again? Evercrumbie Finch. That is one heck of a too long. That name is one heck of too long. Ugh. That name is one heck of a too long. I only heard Biff, so I'll call you Biff from henceforth. That's a new one. Of all the nicknames I've heard, that's definitely the most different. See? You just did it again! Do what? Call me deranged! You're just like them! I haven't even said anything, I think. We should get this date started before someone at this amphitheater dies. And I hope to goodness it isn't going to be me. Why do you think it's so hard? Love is so hard to understand. I just want to know. You mean love? Maybe we could find out together. There we go. M 
maybe. I think I would like that. So who are your, your favorite authors? Well, you read any recommendations? If I say you, would you believe me? Oh, I've got a whole list of beginner works. He's paranoid, and he's committed crimes. He has an ankle bracelet. Is it normal to feel love? Is this supposed to be a natural reaction? You're just different. Everyone experiences love differently. Whoops. Messed up. Love is just as natural as the urge to set yourself on fire. How do you know I get that urge? Do you think love languages are a real thing? I think they're real enough to help those who need them. Don't waste your time. They're accurate as those MBI types. MBTI types. Ah, oh, what in... Read Smudgling. INFP... INFP thing for you to say. Only when I'm with you, I feel butterflies in my tummy. Is this what love feels like? Love is supposed to feel less uncomfortable. Love is whatever you feel like... Whatever you... Oh, okay. I don't know if it's the right answer. It was. What if someday I want this some what if I want love to feel like needles under my skin? Might be enough, I'm not sure. No. Didn't go well. Wow, really? Alright, I'm gonna try again. If I hadn't, uh... If I hadn't missed that second one... Why do you think some birds can't find love? <laughs> Maybe some birds just need to look harder than those. Maybe some birds weren't meant to find love. But then how? How? You don't think I I'm too much to be with, do you? Yeah, but isn't everyone with the brain like you no matter who you must you think? Okay, like that one. Like you no matter how much you think you are. Thank you, oh gosh, you're so nice to me. Experiences love differently. Oh, but that would mean a thousand different definitions. Only when I'm with you, I feel like butterflies in my tummy. Is this what love feels like? Oh, we've, we know this one. Um, love is supposed to feel, yeah. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, Scott. Scott is the uh, is the truck. He's not the truck freak. Or the crazy ass. He's the other guy. He's the other one. Another successful date. Yay! Yippee. Good job, Scott. Good effort. So when do I start feeling happy? How long does it take to kick in? Coffee takes too long. Love needs to be faster. What? You haven't been happy the whole time we're talking? I don't feel the way you feel, Biff. It's... What? You don't think you're normal? Wasn't that gallon of black coffee you had before we got here? Enough? The caffeine is just a band-aid solution to my problems. I wanted to find a permanent fix, and the other birds in my solitary confinement chamber told me love was the key. 
It's what you've been trying to get your grubby little claws on love because you want to... You, uh, so what? You've been trying to get your grubby little claws on love because you wanted it to make you happy? Not just happy. No, 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 no. It's more than just a happiness. It's everything. And I don't feel anything correctly, Biff. It's always never enough or always too much. I'm always never enough or always too much for everyone else. I, I, I... Are you okay? Do you need to breathe in a paper bag? Gallon, how is he still alive? Because he's a hummingbird. He, he, he thrives off caffeine and sugar. No, I need to go home. This is too much. Too much for me. I need to be alone. Give me a few days. Oh, okay. I'll call you then. Mm. Can't make love without a few L's. Mona Lottie and Melancholy. These are not in the same order I dated them. Oh, wait, I gotta do this thing again. Hold on. Hello, Eminem. You nearly gave me a heart attack with that, that message notification. notification. Could you, Could you do, do it, it again, again Crumble? It, it might, might work, work this time. time. What have I told you about chatting on the phone at the same time? This is ridiculous, ridiculous said Mona. Mona. I feel I like, like someone's, someone's poorly written, written fanfic, fanfic, said Melon. Melon. It's, it's five, five in the morning, morning said Mona. We're, We're scheduled, scheduled to be wallowing in self-pity right, right now. now. Not, Not worrying about, about dialogue, dialogue tags, tags, said Mona. Mona. See, doesn't that work so much better? It's so much easier to distinguish between you two now. We, we share, share a single, single brain, brain cell, cell, said Melon. Trying, trying to, to split us apart might as well be the end of the world as we know it, said Mona. Actually, that doesn't sound too bad at all, said Mona. Ugh, this is just unbearable, said Melon. Let's just meet in the woods or something, said Melon. The woods, huh? How the Matic. Mona will bring the shovel and garbage bags. bags. I will I bring the bad vibes and espresso. Espresso, said Melon. What? Wait, what? What the cluck are you two planning? Yes, yes with, with whipped cream. cream. That sound right? Okay, yeah. Sounds good. A little more echoey than I'd want it to be, but whatever. Okay, it's broad daylight, so you two better not be planning anything crazy. We may be small, but what we lack in power, we make up for a danger with a dangerous lack of self-preservation. Crazy doesn't even begin to describe what we've got planned. Sounds like it's going to be a fun time. Please do not bring that accursed fun here. Fun is what got us in this rut in this first place. At least if we're sad, then we can't get any sadder. You know what? True. It's working, Mona. The mind-controlling woo-woo energies are working. Shh. We can't let Crumble know. We're actually trying to keep this one around this time, remember? I can hear you loud and clear, you know? Give me that some of that some of that depresso. <laughs> oh, butts. Let's just start the date already. Where do we go when you feel sad? We like visiting the pet cemetery. Enjoy watching the humans bleed in the kindergarten. Who texts? It was a good place to watch people suffer. We'll put it on the bucket list. Just got back from a date with the CCP. Yeah, watching kids bleed might be a little too much. So, where's your wristwatch? My mind's enough of a ticking time. I don't need one. Time is a social construct. Interesting. A built-in self-destruct sequence. Have you ever lost a loved one before? Probably something about never feeling love. Once or twice in the supermarket. More times than I have feathers. One. Two, three, four. There we go. That explains the balding. Hot. Balding? They sure do love morbidity, yeah. Why do other birds keep laughing when we tell them what our species is? Oh, because they're tits. I don't know, something about milk tea, I think? Boba? What are you again?
Yum, a fine last supper. I concur. Oh, I knew it. Their text is purple if they're talking together. We've been experimenting with embalming moisturizers lately. Thoughts? Tastes like regurgitated worms. You look like wax statues. Oh, they're gonna love that one. Goth tits, yeah. Hey, Sky J, how you doing? Art is timeless and so is suffering. Give me that boba. <laughs> That was a not bad experience, if I do say so myself. I agree, yes, very fu- I mean, not unenjoyable. I don't get it, what's the problem with fun? Mona, should we? We might as well. No point in delaying the inevitable. Death comes for us all in the end, just like Crumble. I can't believe you just equated making me ask a question of literally dying. Anyway, we- we used to be pets. That's all you're getting for now, enjoy the cliffhanger. Feel free to jump at your leisure. That might have been a bit too off the deep end, Mona. Even for you. Do you two enjoy talking to each other, pretending I'm not standing right next to you? We don't enjoy not- we don't not enjoy talking to each other. We're just used to having a third party around who enjoys listening to us babble. It gets lonely, too, when it's just us around. So I'm glad you're here. Melon, did you just- oh god. Express happiness? Oh no, oh no. I've brought dishonor upon my cow. I feel an intense urge to disembowel myself. Please don't do that right in front of me. Never mind. It was just my lactose intolerance. Darn those delicious depresso espressos. Alright, I think we'd better head home before Melon actually does need a shovel. Their farts smell like Christmas spirit. Disgusting. Okay, I guess I learned a bunch about you two today. And I'll sit on that cliffhanger for a while. I'd like to know more about your secret life as pets next time. In the afterlife, or... Next time. Time is a social construct, like therapy, and human credit scores. Mona, I really have to go. Okay, fly home safe. The heck we are. We did it. We got the heart. Dorian Grain, this one. This is the kinky dude. Inflation man. Hi Dorian, it's me. Hey, it's you again. Glad you finally decided to hit me up. Yeah, my bad. I had some loose ends to clear up. It's no problemo, pal. I'm just happy my favorite little chicklet's finally about to be back under my wings, where they belong. So are we doing this date thing or what? Now, now, can't rush a good time, can we? Slow and steady wins the race. I'll fly on over and take you to my favorite place in town. Welcome to the best restaurant in the city. La Cucina de Pigeon. What does that name mean? Not to disappoint, but I ain't exactly a linguistic guy. Probably something about those flying rats or something. Anyway, just let me know when you're ready to get down and dirty, and I'll holler for a waiter to get us started. Ooh, this is fast. Alright. Gonna have to be on our game here if we want to touch his chesticles. Hey, so children, huh? What do you think? I don't think he wants kids. Oh, triplets. I'd be no good as a parent. What? Our children are a delicacy in some human cultures. Jeez, I get babies are good protein, but still. I'm gonna restart that. Yes, please. Sorry, my late grandma just called. I'm curious, what's your flock like? Mine pamper me into submission. They told me to go flock myself. Space, left, space, there. Mine pamper me into submission. If we could all be so lucky. Oh, I wasn't happy with that one. Alright. Do you see us lasting a while? Till death do us part, right? A minute in eternity, I'm happy as long as I'm with you.
Aren't you the sweetest little thing? What's your favorite thing to do in bed? Oh no. Choking myself to sleepy. Sleep is my personal favorite. Ah. Uh, I don't like this. Choking myself to sleep. <laughs> oh. What? Hey, that's my job, bud. We're still chatting, so I'm assuming you like what you see. Yeah, but I want to see more. I have astigmatism. I can barely see anything. What? Yeah, I want to lick you real bad. And when's the last time you've had a breath mint? You up for some nasty fun later tonight? With protection, yeah. All day, any day, handsome. All day, any day, handsome. Well, all right, baby, that's what I like to hear. That was way not good. Hey, no, what the hell? <laughs> Rolls away. Date fail. Um, speaking of astigmatism, I don't know if I mentioned this. When I got my eyes checked, uh, back in the was it was it January or February? I can't even remember anymore. Uh, it turns out my right eye has astigmatism, slight astigmatism. It's like a very small correction, which is weird because my right eye is actually the one with better eyesight than my left eye. My right eye is like 150, whereas my left eye is like 300 in terms of correction. Welcome to the club, yeah. I need to get back into VR. Maybe I'll do that this week. You have some nasty fun later tonight. All day, any day, handsome. Do you see us lasting? Okay, I don't need to read the ones I've already read. Come on! The cold pond nearby we could freeze ourselves in. Not like that, pal. I'm too young for that. So what is it you're looking for in a bird? Big inflatable chest. Good heart and sound ethics. Dark feathers and a strong build. And I'm into cute little things like you. What's your favorite thing to do in bed? Sleeping is what the right answer. Sleeping is a personal favorite. <laughs> but you've yet to do it with me, babe. Ooh. So I've been thinking about an open relationship lately. Am I not good enough for you? If it means we're making room for a third. Hey, why not stop at just three of us? <laughs> so how was that for your second day with yours truly? Was it as magical as you imagined? I've never tasted such good bird food in my life. I'm a bird of my word, and the bird is the word. Well, I'm gonna use that phrase. I am absolutely going to say that to someone at some point. You're so good at softening me up like that. Where'd you learn to flirt so well? This golden tongue of mine doesn't come naturally, Cheesecake. You gotta earn it. Gotta work for it. No pain, no gains, yeah? You make it sound so easy. <laughs> if only it were, then we'd both get to enjoy some good tongue action. I'm surprised you don't mind how vanilla I've been. Come on, Finchy. Too many cooks in the kitchen? Bad idea. Let me handle the spice, all right? I like the way you are. You don't have to change for me. So are we continuing this thing back at your bachelor pad? Actually, Finchy, I've got something to take care of. Family problems, you know. The usual gig. Sorry to disappoint if sleeping with me was all you're after, but I just need to take a rain check for now. What? What made you think I was only after the wet and wild slide? Come on, don't try and fool me, Finchy baby. It's not like you. Besides, I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. I'm a bird built for pleasure. Don't get it mixed up. I'll be better next time around. Just not tonight. Sorry, but call me. Alright. He's gonna have some tragic thing going on, I bet.
305. Bobo Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg, excuse me. Hey, Bobo, I think I'm ready for round two. My progeny has returned. I'm surprised you haven't been scared away by the cruel face of injustice yet. I can't say you aren't right, but it's not as easy as you make it sound, you know? Don't think I can- t don't think I can't walk my- t walk my talk, Foxtrot. I've done things in my youth you've never even thought possible. I've seen enough bird guts to make a sausage factory. I've snuffed the life out of too many family members. I've- Hey, what happened? Are you okay? I'm fine. My health isn't the same as it used to be. Leave your doors unlocked if you don't want me busting them down. You're getting into the real interview process now. I don't know what I'm witnessing, but, uh, sure? Yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, PTSD. Yeah, he's a war vet. He's, he's a communist war vet. I forgot how small your barracks are, but I suppose it's perfect for a bird your size. An excellent base of covert operations. Practically invisible to the naked eye. Remarkable. Unremarkable. Bland as dead grass. Okay, I get the point. I'm vanilla. You misunderstand me, Foxtrot. I envy you. Raw envy! Ugh. I've never verbally expressed such pathetic weakness in so long. Not to a youth. What? You're jealous of me. Another topic for another day. For now, we march. What do you think heaven is like? Too young to think about something to make here on Earth. You're never too young to be thinking about bigger things. Shit. I will never understand why I need a license for my crossbow collection. The dorm should be so... I could fax you a copy of my license. An illegal forgery! Don't tempt me! What did you want to be when you grew older? Grandpa. A seed farmer, part of the Air Force. A noble cause! Finally, a seed of hope! He wouldn't want to be part of the Air Force, that's... that's... Do you feel like you've lived a fruitless life? My ambition is a bomb's pit. I think I've done enough, honestly. Good, you must use that ambition as fuel! Breaking the rules now, yeah. Is it difficult... it is difficult for me to sleep these days. How do you do it? Look forward to every lucid nightmare. Sleep is for the weak. Good! Hypervigilance is key to survival! Yeah, you wouldn't want me to be part of the Air Force, because that would mean I'm fighting against what he fought for. Once again, you've exceeded the low, low bar I've set for you, Foxtrot. I'm impressed by your surprises. You just fool the surprises, Finch! <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to do there. You always know what to say to me. It feels as though we have a bond of blood that transcends time and space. A bit dramatic, but I'll take it. What is justice if not dramatic? Have you ever seen anyone call an underwhelming stage pl Excuse me. Have you seen anyone call an underwhelming stage play a form of justice? I think not. Capitalism must be brought to its knees, and it must not disappoint. Otherwise, the sleeping birds of our nation will lull themselves into oblivion for another thousand centuries. Sometimes I wonder if your phone actually manages to keep up with everything you say about communism. Can't you just type what you say? Foxtrot, I have no fingers! Why do you- what do you want me to use? My eyeballs? My other balls? No. But- No buts! There can be no doubts or hesitation on the road to justice. I have walked along this path of no sidewalks for so long, and yet... It has been difficult lately. Difficult how? You ask so many questions. We really are two alike, you and I. We are? Now I must go. My prune juice is getting bad. If you are ready to take the final step in becoming a rebel warrior of hope, you know where to find me. Yeah, outside my treehouse for asking my neighbors for food. Before you go, though... What? Let me help you out with your phone. Avril, carry on. 
This is this is the op this is the capitalist guy. Hello, Mr. Avril. Oh, it's you. Um, what was your application number again? You look familiar, but then again, all the poor birds on my phone look familiar. Is it because we're all using the b default blank profile picture? Correct! Welcome to the mental wavelength of a scene-making genius. I see real potential in you, um... Evercrombie. Ah yes, Abercrombie. Bird number 01364. The file I have on you says you gave us 6 out of 10 on our last date. That's already 80% better than most other har- Whoa, whoa. Most other somethings I've had this conversation. Yay? Excellent. I'll send you a dress and I expect you to be there, clothed or not. Uh, there's something I couldn't check during our last session. You already impressed me with your initiative. You'd better not disappoint me, ever. Ever. You better not disappoint me, ever, and I'll fatten you up with enough seeds to solve the city's hunger problem. Why don't you just use those seeds to solve the city's hunger problem? There's more to life than solving all these silly poor people problems, ever. Someday you'll understand. That's already 80% better than most of the other homeless failures. At least I haven't wasted my time entertaining this conversation. Ah. So he's the opposite of the other one. He's super capitalist. He, he wants to be a sugar daddy. I wasn't expecting you to be the type to take birds to museums. Why wouldn't I? Who could resist such extravagant displays of needless wealth for human mess-making? It's deliciously obscene. You care a lot about human currencies for a bird. Do you even use them? Of course not. Seeds are a true mark of a bird's wealth. Answer me this. Do you know why the Earth creates diamonds and other shiny rocks? To attract alien gamma rays and turn old people into cockroaches. Why? Exactly, and your silly human flesh bags go and wear them as jewelry anyway. Pointless and self-destructive. So it doesn't matter why I collect human money. What matters is that those silly green papers represent wealth. And that I turn heads and make sure everyone knows I'm richer than them. Did you get all that? Um, yeah, I guess so. Excellent, and let's not waste any more time. Let the art showcase begin. What has been your favorite hustle to date? Egg setting seeds for Tim. Robbing old people for their pocket food. Egg setting seedless teen moms. Egg setting four seedless teen moms. Not exactly the most profitable idea, unfortunately. Corporate business parties are so dull. I miss the good old days. Don't you like the break room pizza parties? Just at the boss's office on fire. Instant party. That's brilliant. It'll be on the team building agenda then. I hope the lack of physical intimacy does not disappoint you. We're just a hot shot yuppie. Yep. Relationship isn't just about the bed stuff. We can always work our way up to choking someday. We can definitely agree on that, ever. How would you like to be the richest little finch alive, hmm? Face. Winky face. I won't say no to free money. I don't need money as long as I have you. No, nope, he wants the other one. He wants me to, to be wealthy. Now I know I picked correctly. I want your honest opinion on rock music. Be honest with me, would you? I think rock music's best was on mute. Just put another dime in the jukebox, baby. That's probably not the right answer. Oh, it is. Good, now dance with me, pheasant. It's kind of a weird question to ask. I wouldn't think of him as a rock, rock and roll. Well, I guess it's a rock and roll cockatoo. Also, they may be something in the wealth, also in the works for Yuppie Psycho. Really? That's interesting. I'd be love, love to see more of that series. Or that game. There's a bunch of stuff I still missed in it. Like, I didn't find the uh, the pool. And the uh, and the drink. Though I think I showed those off afterwards via the video. We picked a good day to visit. When I normally come here, there's this obnoxious woodpecker having a seizure. And screaming bloody murder while staring at some random painting. 
You know, I'm kind of curious about some of the things you ask me, Avril. Oh, I finally stimulated your second brain cell, have I? That'll cost you. My quality of life services don't come cheap, you know. You asked about my taste in music. Is that something you're into? Me? Music? Yeah. That's... That's a dangerous question you're asking me, Pheasant. You don't seem to understand who you're talking to here. There's a reason I wear these shades all day, and I'm not sure I want to let myself get too vulnerable around my sugar baby. Why not? This relationship's supposed to be purely transactional. I pay you, and you do what I want. I thought this was clear when you signed the contracts. I'm a bird, Avril. I can't read or write. I can barely exist, much less write a legible signature. Then what did you put on the contracts? Skid marks. I... see. Were they talking about, like, poop? Like poop- like, like, runny poop? Well, it doesn't matter, I'm too rich to deal with the paperwork anyway. The third date will be the final test of your worth. If you can't prove to me why you deserve to live for free, then we'll have to cur- then we'll have to call it quits. Consider it a business proposal. Sell yourself to me, and I might just set you and your next of kin uh, for life out of the goodness of my heart. That almost sounds like a threat. Did you want it to be? Not really. Well, too bad. That's the illusion of free choice ever. There's a surplus of power in the illusion of power that makes capitalism so much fun to play with. And that concludes Economics 102. Very nice. I'm successing those dates. <clears throat> No more matches. Fly away now. Okay, so we're 317. We can't go too much longer. Uh, so we're we're in the set. We're in the second half now. Let's uh, let's let's see if Russell's got another tutorial for us. Hey, are you free? Oh, what is it now? I was thinking we could go on another um tutorial. Ah, oh, jeez, you're so needy. Fine, but we're doing things my way. Should I be scared? Scared is an understatement. So... So? I don't know what we're doing on these kinds of dates. Help? Always so helpless. Here, let me help. On your third date with another burb, you'll often be doing something a little different to spice things up. Before the date starts, they'll give you quick instructions and pointers. When you're ready, f just go for it. Please. Make it sound so easy. Like you are, just try it out before you complain. Oh, so this is all. So these are where the mini games are coming in. A selfie with the bestie. Oh my God, selfie! Your self, your bestie cannot take selfies. Let's show him how it's done. Press the hour keys on the beat to move the cross towards the center. Successful selfie looks like this. Now capture those memories. Come take a selfie with me. Amazing, hun. Oh, this is cute. These are going to be, like, rapido. Oh, now I can do minigames. Russo, take a selfie. Eh, that's cute. What's up, Avril? When did we throw out the formal greetings? I enjoyed the power play. Don't you get tired of having a stick up your ass all day? Not if it gets food on the table. I've had worse things inside me, believe me. I won't ask, but are you free for a date? Am I being paid for my time? I thought I was supposed to be the sugar baby. Well, you're insanely picky for a sugar baby, but it's whatever. I'll have my assistant think of something fun for us to do. I'll pick you up in an hour. Whatever happens, happens. Hopefully no one comes and ruins our fun. An hour? Slap fest, prepare for trouble. 
Oh no, your date's ex has crashed the dinner and wants to throw hands. Oh my god. Press the opposite side of a slap on the beat to dodge it. Failing to do so will lead to slapping results. Ooh. Also, that Q&A for Faith. I didn't see the Q&A for Faith. I haven't been following it. I don't know what uh, Airdorf's been up to. Avoid the slaps. Come on now. Amazing, keep it up. This is silly. Don't get abused. That might not be good enough. No, it was. Avoid getting abused by your by by your date's ex. Jesus. It's a little rough. Slap fest. One week ago, three weeks ago, three months ago. So it's like times are going really by really quickly here. Is there a way to like redo the dates? Because I just noticed there's like no way to redo them aside from the mini game. Maybe that's what collection is for. Sir, hello, sir. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot who you are, Private. Announce yourself in person before you text me next time. How? Never mind. I was thinking we could go on a date or something. Are you free? Anarchy is always free. Anarchy never sleeps. But yes, if you crave capital punishment so badly, I'll make you taste the bosom of hell itself. Oh, oh God, I'm old and I'm burping a lot. <coughs> I'll file a police report just in case. Airdorf is on Team Crunchy Peanut Butter. You know what? Valid. I never have Crunchy Peanut Butter, but I do, I do like it. We don't stock it in this house, but... Waddle, 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 waddle. Your date will show you their hip dance moves. How majestic. Make sure to memorize these moves in order. Once your turn, return the same hip dance moves to the beat. Okay, so it's Parappa. Watch me. Repeat after me. Wrong. Do better. Who is it? Right, up, down, right. And in response to a question, you're gonna you're gonna love chapter four. Oh yeah. So he's not made. It's like. He never said that, because he said there was going to be, like, one more game. Never said it was going to be, like, a because it's a trilogy, but also there was going to be, like, a, a bonus thing. I don't know. I haven't really been keeping up with the Faith stuff. I haven't been keeping the Faith. I haven't been a good Eho. Bobo, Waddle Waddle. I'll save Dorian for the end. See what Scott's got for me. Hi, Scott. Oh, it's you. You again. Welcome to my phone. I like seeing your name on my phone. It's so delicious. Message me again, please. Hi, Scott. Oh, you tease. You're tearing me apart. Are we going on a date? Let me know if we are. I wouldn't mind. Do you have something planned? I'm always ready. With a thousand different worst-case scenarios. For every waking second of my life. This isn't one of them. So it's just the one scenario. Let's go. 
Meet me there. Wait, where? You'll see. Location sent. Woodpecker, impress your date with date with a bonk bonk 3000. Your date is asking to show off your woodpecking skills. Press the sequence as fast as you can once the timer starts. Be careful pressing the wrong hour will daze you for a bit. Alright. Exquisite! That says what the other guy said. Oh, you don't have a lot of time for that. Meowdy. Hey, sour cream. Not the biggest fan if not much role for fanfics. Don't blame him. Yeah. Stomach hurty. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. My, I mean, to be fair, if you've seen any of my streams, well, if you saw my last stream, my last two streams, I've, I had a really bad stomach bug last week, and it's still, I'm still feeling the effects of it now. It's causing me t some tummy, some tummy issues. Some stummy hurts. All right, it's 327. I'm going to do one more, and then I'm going to stop for the evening. Uh, let's, let's do the goth girls. Hello, my favorite heralds of the apocalypse. You have interrupted, interrupted our, our daily, daily evil ritual. ritual. Now Melon is in suggestion, suggestion, said Mona. Mona. I, hope I hope you're happy, happy villain. villain. I just wanted to know if you're up for another date. Are, Are we, we in the, the mood, mood for channeling our inner vultures of the cemetery, cemetery Mona? Mona? No, no, we, we did, did that two days, days ago, Melon. Melon. Let's, let's do, do something, something else, said Mona, to Melon. Melon. There's, There's something, something on our, our bucket, bucket list we haven't tried yet, Melon said, said to Mona, the finch, finch. At the finch. I hope it's not a sacrifice. Don't, Don't be, be so prissy, prissy said Mona. It's, it's much, much worse, said Melon. Oh, dear. Stomach bugs need to be patched next update. <laughs> Don't say it. Repress the impulsive thoughts. Execute the sequences as fast as you can to clear your thoughts. As if a brain, if a thought reaches your brain, you'll say it out loud, disrupting the seance. Disrupting the seance has its consequences. I want to see what happens when I fuck it up. Wish it was that easy, yeah. Just don't say anything, Finch. You got this. How long are we going to have to do this? Is somebody supposed to talk? Did the, that Five Nights at Freddy's noise. Look how the brain is lined up. Can I go home yet, or... Alright, I don't think anything's gonna happen if I... F fucking... Going... B go big mode? Oh, it's like... F theater Rhythm has that, too. Poggers. Ghosts aren't real. See what the funny words are. You guys want to play Counter Stroke? Go big mode. How long are we gonna do? Go big mode again. This is how I deal with the with the compulsion to yell at text on the phone. I have to stop myself. Got another date after this. Your owner hates you. Yeah, there was nothing there. I don't know why I just sit there and sat there and let that happen. We'll do we'll do that one more time. I don't I don't know why I just let it like like what compelled me to just let the entire thing fail. I should just restarted it after the first one.
What's the very top of our distraction? You just gotta look at the one that's gonna fall first. This is just your ADHD haunting you. Damn it. There we go. Successfully did not interrupt seance. Alright. We've got two more mini games left. You know what? Let's just finish them. Hello, Loverbird. Are you doing anything right now? Besides having a dandy old time with my favorite finch? Rue, never. Why? Are you in the mood for another date? You read my mind. Why don't you meet me at this part of the woods? I'll find something fun for us to do. Location sent. You make it sound so ominous. If you're worried you're gonna end up like my Aunt Gertrude, then you could chill those goosebumps. They're like no accident sites where we're going. Your name is Taylor Swift. Oh dear. Strike a pose. Work those wings, girl. Taylor wants to capture the moment with a perfect pose. Choose a pose by pressing left or right before time runs out. Make sure to match Taylor's pose to create the perfect moment. Less involved ones. Very, very, very nice. We're shaking things up before the finale for each one. Okay, that just leaves uh, our buddy inflated chest over here. Hello, Daddy. It's me, baby. <laughs> oh, someone needs Daddy's scrumptious milk. Please feed me, Daddy. Oh, I'll do more than just feed you, sugar. I've got something fun planned in the pipes for a while now. Meet me at the pond. Bring protection. No? Oh no, we're getting really horny here. Catch the fish. Grab a little treat for your date. Press L on the shown on the press the shown arrow on the beat to catch the fish once it flies towards you. Be careful. Don't press anything when trash shows up. Do more make your date happy. Good luck and have fun. Dear God, I have to deal with the mouse calling me a mouse toy and now this. Oh no. What were you watching? Awesome job! I definitely messed up one of the fish. Oh, you're watching Samuel? Okay. Charge your phone. Maybe some other time. Dorian, catch the fish. Mona, melon, don't say it. Tay, strike a pose. Scott, woodpecker. 
Looks like there should be another one there. This is just blush supreme. All right, well we're up to the last date for all four of all all seven of them. So we've probably got one more stream of this left to go, but uh, I am going to uh, I'm going to end it here. I'm going to have to actually exit the game though. To actually no, I could just pull this up. Or can I? Yes, I can. There we go. What just happened? Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, I know it's 3:30 though. I gotta stop and, and get ready for bed. I gotta, I gotta, uh, I gotta wrap it up for the evening. But this was fun. We made, we made progress tonight. Good progress. Um. So, what's happening this week? Um, more Metroid. Lots, a lot more Metroid. There's gonna be at least one more full Metroid stream this week. Um. Another theater rhythm stream. We're gonna we're gonna do the the fourteen stream part fourteen for Final Fantasy fourteen. Um, oh, I talked about this the other day when I was playing Metroid. The Sonic Frontiers DLC got announced this week. Like right after I said it, I was like, oh, I, I wonder when that DLC is happening. And then it got announced that it's coming out Wednesday. It doesn't look that substantial. I'm probably not gonna stream it with this wave. I'll probably wait until Wave Two comes out and just stream all of it at once. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna see how much there is to it, uh, on my own. And then, uh, oh yeah, Toxicu is streaming. Yeah, no, I'll op absolutely raid him. Yep, that's a good, uh, good suggestion. Alright. So more Theater Rhythm, Finale of Love Burb, more Metroid, and, uh, we'll see what happens. I don't think I'm going out this weekend, but I also think I'm gonna need a day or two off this week for other reasons, so we'll see what happens. I think... Right now, I'm aiming for it to be Wednesday and or Friday, but we'll, again, we'll, we'll burn those bridges when we get to them. Uh, if you want to watch more streams, check out twitch.tv slash team slash wildabandon. Plenty of people streaming there right now, no matter where you're watching this. Uh, and I will go ahead and read Toxicow. Toxicu, Toxicow. I don't I actually don't know how to pronounce his, his name. He said it's like whatever. Whatever works. So yeah, let me, uh, let me load up the raid. And we'll, uh, have a good time soon. Thank you for coming. Y'all have a great evening. I'll see you tomorrow and or Wednesday and or Thursday and or Friday and or every other day for the rest of eternity. Stick around and say hi to Toxie. And, uh, yeah. Good night. And, uh, don't touch the frigate bird in his, in his inflation sack. <laughs>